Hi everyone. As you may already know, exceeding the recommended operating temperature will cause the transmission speed to slow down or even have the risk of overheating and crashing. See the more efficient the transmission of SSDs, the more the temperature will be higher. If you want to avoid the influence of overheating, the heat dissipation requirement is very important. How you can get the temperatures down on your SSD? Let's check out this video. At first, the most common M.2 SSDs are bare chips, which means they have no heat sinks. We have assumed that you probably need a heat sink for your M.2 SSD if you don't want its becoming an overheated crispy cracker. The main function of the heat sink is cooling down the SSDs to maintain the high speed operation and to avoid activating the speed reduction protection mechanism due to high temperature. Team Group's T-Force offers very comprehensive heat dissipating solutions for gamers to choose from, including graphene, ceramic, and aluminum fins, which can be adapted to different usage environments and appearance requirements. Graphene If you see Z at the beginning of a T-Force SSD model, it means the heat sink is built by graphene. For instance, Z330, Z340, Z440, etc. are all made of graphene as the base material. According to the test result on the official website, the cooling effect is more than 9% higher than the SSD without the heatsink. Overall thickness of the heatsink is less than 1 mm, so you don't have to worry about structural between different components. The heat dissipation effect will be even better if it can be used with the motherboard M.2 SSD heatsink. After installation, it is just like installing a product without a heatsink. It is so thin and still has a powerful cooling capability, and that's what makes this patent so amazing. Ceramic The letter C at the beginning of a T-Force SSD model means the heatsink is built by ceramic. The ceramic material itself has the characteristics of high heat dissipation wattage and no heat storage. We found that the cooling effect of the case with a fan was as high as 10% while the case without a fan, which is less common in the market, was only 2%. This difference is quite consistent with the characteristics of ceramic itself that its thermal conductivity is better than thermal dissipation. The thickness is only about 1 mm which can install and easily enjoy the aesthetic of thinness easily. The two heat sinks above are general heat stinks with a better thermal conductivity than heat dissipation. Aluminum fins Aluminum is the most common material for heat sinks, with special structural design on top to enhance heat dissipation. Cardia A440 Pro M.2 PCIe SSD has the most powerful cooling effect in the series. The all-new, upgraded special aluminum fin-type heatsink can effectively reduce the temperature by 48% and delay speed dropping. Back to our question. Does your M.2 SSD need a heatsink? We just done the quick review three types of heatsink. I believe you are more clear about the relationship between the heat sink and SSDs, haven't you? If you are an office man or woman, you probably choose the SSDs with the standard cooling performance. If you are a gamer or creator, it's necessary for you to have the computer with SSDs having high performance heat sinks. The reason why is that playing games or editing the videos for a long period will let computers have the risk of overheating, which leads to the slow transmission speed. Now have you decided whether you need the SSDs with heatsink or not after watching this video?